Megan with Sweetwater, and today we're talking about enrollment platforms. Today is the first day of the Medicare annual enrollment season, AEP, October 15th, and as to be expected, there were a few kinks in the road, um, hence this video. The enrollment platform uh, that is used by WellCare, Aetna, and all well is Ascend, and it is a bit tricky to navigate. So stay tuned, and I'll walk you through a Send for Signature enrollment. Be right back. We are going to start by going to our email. So we've done the Send for Signature option, and you'll notice there's two new emails, both from Aetna. We're using the Aetna Ascend platform. Um, you're gonna check, first of all, go to the second email or the most recent first. That's gonna be your verification code. You're gonna need that in order to continue your enrollment. Um, so come over here and you'll see that code. You can just highlight that code and right click it and copy that code. It's also been texted to you, so if you just wanna write it down from your phone, you can do that too. And then we're going to go down to the next email and you'll see click to resume. So as the agent, I've already um, entered all the data and then I sent for signature. So all of your information should be there. You just need to click through and verify it. Pardon the interruption, guys. Just wanted to throw this out there so I don't have to make a second enrollment video for a send. Um, there are two ways you can enroll. One is the uh, send for signature where we've already entered all your data. Um, like we just went over. The second is quote to enroll. And basically the only difference is you put in all of your data. Um, so same thing here, you go to that second email, grab the, the code, and then click this enroll in this plan and put your code in and then put in all your data rather than confirm. The rest looks exactly the same. Okay, back to it. So we're gonna click to resume. Okay, and then I already copied that code, so I'm gonna right click and say paste. All right, and then we're gonna say submit. Okay, now, like I said, each of these tabs, I've already gone through and filled out all of your data, so you just need to verify everything is there. This is your enrollment period, annual enrollment. So we're just gonna say next. And obviously we've got first name, test, last name, case, and female, date of birth. If you'll notice anywhere that you see these red asterisks, those are the required fields. So no asterisk, like the phone number, not required. Don't need to enter it. Okay, then we're gonna hit next. Okay, our address, just a test drive, not a real enrollment. All right, next. And provider lookup, not required, so we're skipping. Next. Okay, and just verify that your Medicare number is the same right here as it is on your Medicare card. This is a fake number, folks. See, I even wrote F-A-K-E, fake number. All right, next. And how do you wanna pay your premium? I selected pay by coupon book. Um, if you'd rather pay via your bank account, you would just select this option and then enter your banking information. Um, if you'd rather do social security, you just check this box here, although I do not recommend it in general. Next. Okay, all of these answers should be no. And next. Scroll down. All right. I am the person listed on this enrollment or I'm helping someone complete this enrollment. Um, that's where you want to just leave that box checked. If you check this next one here, I'm acting on the, as an authorized representative that's for like power of attorney. So we'll just keep that box checked and hit next. Okay. Once again, you just want to quickly glance through everything, make sure it all looks good, and then you would just click Apply Now. Now, this is a test case, so I'm not actually going to click that button. But there you go. All done.